All right, guys, what's up? It's me, and I got a little review for you guys. It is the Asus Ultrabook S550CA touchscreen mid-range laptop. And as you can see, it's running Windows 10. I got lots, got some apps running on it. And first off, I'm going to start by saying the story of how I got this computer. Number one, when I was in Yale with my dad, St. Clair, where I always go, I was supposed to give this computer to my uncle, you know, do a factory reset for Windows 8.1. Um, so, the reset was almost complete. Next thing you know, the damn thing shuts off, the hard drive fails, and Windows 8 could not be reinstalled, so... We reformatted the hard drive. Well, yeah, me, we isn't my me, uh, my brother and I. So yeah, so we reformatted the hard drive and installed Windows 10. I kind of like Windows 10. I just and I just love touch screens now. I'm so used to it now. I'm not gonna get used to those computers. I'll show you. In, I'll show you right now. Actually, like look at. Here's my pavilion and there's my Viserio. This one runs Vista and this one runs Lubuntu. Well, unbelievable. Oh, here's my tablet. Now, I'm going to go over some specs. So here we have, we have an Intel Core i5 processor clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. I think this is dual core or quad. I'm not sure, entirely sure. 3317U. We got 8 gigs of RAM with a 1000 terabyte hard drive plus a 24 gig solid state. We got a DVD multi multi DVD drive. Now, this is important as it was in the 2000s. And warranty 12 months, that's expired. OS Windows 8, but not anymore since it's Windows 10. You got one USB 3.0 port, two USB 2. HDMI, Energy Star. There you go. So let's take a look. You got a 15.6 inch black backlit high definition touchscreen display with the resolution of 1366 by 768. And let's take a look around the laptop. Here's the front. Here's the side. You got your DC check. Now, I lost the actual charger for this laptop so I'm using my Toshiba notebook 505 thing. So we have that. We have the fan. It's running nice and cool. VGA, HDMI which I use. Ethernet, nice cover there. And USB 3 because it's blue. Other side. Headset microphone combination jack. Two USB 2s, DVD drive, and a K-Lock. On the back, just says the Zeus. Nice and... Oh yeah, I forgot to say that this is aluminum tough. I scratched it so many times. And nothing. Just nothing, but I do gotta clean it. Well, so... Yep, okay, Windows. And here's the trackpad. It's nice and smooth. I don't know what the hell, why the hell it's like this. I don't know why it's in this condition. I don't know what the fuck my cousin did to it. <laughs> and look, at, I love Windows. I just love Windows 10 for some reason. So let's take a look at what I have. Now, I forgot to say this. Most people may have seen this model. But other, but on the other hand, many, um, some of you own that, own this model. So, there you go. So, here's the apps. I, this is a, um, default background from when my aunt bought the computer about, I don't know, back in 2013, 2012 or something. I have no idea. But, yep, as you can see, you have Windows 10. And for those who do want to download Windows 10, I'll post a link in the description below so you can download it. So, here we have the start screen. Pretty nice and basic. 
Why the hell do I have Candy Crush Saga on here? I don't even play that. Here are all your apps. I'm going to be using the touch screen for this. So there you go. Pretty much just a selection of apps. Contact support. I don't use that. Focus. Okay, it's fine. On the right here, you got at a glance and play and explore. Now, Windows 10 basically allows you to connect your computer to a console. Whether you're around the room or may possibly if you're on the go. So That's a cool feature. And as you can see, it's already logged me in. So that's that. We got search the web in Windows. Basically, your new assistant. What the hell? Alright. Next. Yes. Allow. Yes. Okay. Cortana wanted me to set up. I set a reminder, didn't I? Cortana. Yes. Okay. I set a reminder. And here's some of the apps I installed. Recycling bin that was default. I got Virtual DJ, I got Viber, Skype, and Libre. I also got HP AIO, if I can find it. No. Oops. Okay, this touch screen is getting on my nerves. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, come on now. Don't do this to me. Oh. My, my elbow's on the thing. There we go. HP AIO. And iHeartRadio was just default like that, so, yeah. We got Cortana, we got, what the hell is this? Oh, the taskbar. That's the task here. Microsoft Edge, which is Microsoft new, Microsoft's new web browser, which I like. The file browser the store, and I have Skype. And right here you got... OneDrive, Wi-Fi battery, volume, um, other notifs, and on-screen keyboard. You got other stuff like, um, never mind, it just kind of goes away right away. Damn. You got that, I don't know what that is. Contact support, I guess, Bluetooth, OneDrive, Skype, and the formats on the little... Mouse pad thing. So, oh, did I forget to get the SD card? Yes, there's an SD card down here. I don't know if that works. Like I said, I don't remember what my cousin did with this. I think she broke that shit. Well, here's the start button. I, I like I said, I love this computer. I'm still trying to get used to some of the s bugs on here. Now, one major bug that I have with this computer is the wonky screen so every time I'm adjusting the screen the screen goes black then picture then black I don't know what the heck is wrong with them I might need a new graphics card or something or the screen needs to be replaced because this is ridiculous but other than that computer works good and I'm proud so this wasn't really a review video this is just to show you the story but I think you can count it as a little review so I'm going to post another video soon. Oh, wait. And that's that. And here's another Asus PC. This is the little brother, Jason. And meet his big sister. Get some light going. Hang on. Meet the big sister of Jason, Casey. Casey Asus. Now, this is a gaming PC. We used it for games, as you guys can see. I actually, I actually unplugged my Afterglow. My Afterglow finally works. Finally, and we got this bad boy. Actually, no. Hang on. Oh, my brother got it when I was in New York. So, yep. Now, normally we arrange some of the stuff to put the hard drives in. So the DVD drive used to be up here but now it's down here because I think some of the hard drives are up here two USB 3's which have been disconnected all four of these have been disconnected so yep we put I think no we had two hard drives and a solid state drive 
And on the back, here's the I.O. And here's my Magnavox TV. Pretty much the same thing, but I think my brother changed it up a little. Oh, we're connected. There you go. High definition. It's plugged in as HDMI. And I love this PC as well. It's Windows 10. And, yeah. It's Windows 10. Basically the same thing as this little brother right here. But that's going to do for me in this video. I'll see you guys in another one. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll put the link if you guys want to download Windows 10 for free. And... That's it. See you later.